Kevin Adirami, weeweeblogs.com. We are with Destiny Chukunyere from Malta, who will be singing the power belter, Not My Soul. Now, Destiny, a lot of people who are not very good with languages struggle to pronounce your surname. Tell us how to get it right. My first name is Destiny, okay. and my second name is Chukunyere. There you go. Easy, isn't it? It's yeah. not that difficult. Uh, let me see. Oh, Destiny Chukunyere. Oh, not yeah. my soul! <laughs> but what you also don't know is that we share a very similar heritage. I'm Nigerian yeah, yeah. too. So yeah, and my father is Nigerian too. Absolutely. And he's also a famous footballer. He represented Nigeria at international football competitions. Yeah. Like he was part of the Super yeah, Eagles, yeah. right? Yeah. How does it feel like being part of that kind of fame you know coming from fame um it's amazing because uh, yeah, people will know your father and will start to get to, kn to know you and when they meet you they will tell you ah oh, you they call you with the nickname oh you're the daughter of Wu Wu Chukunyere and I say yes yes that's my father so yeah it's wonderful <laughs> and of course you're not just relying on your father's talent you've also got your talent because yeah. you can sing and you've won so <laughs> many competitions and you've <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you're Thank very you. modest, but you, you do have a very strong, powerful voice. I mean, people have even gone as far as comparing you with Aretha Franklin. Thank you. Um, you have heard it before, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's uh, an honor to be called the new Aretha Franklin, because Aretha Franklin is the queen of soul, as they say. The queen also. Absolutely. And uh, her voice brings energy to other people, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Destiny, tell me though, um, has Aretha Franklin in some respect inspired, I mean because you wrote this song with Elton Zarb, yeah. by the way, what is it like working with such a legend who's... Oh, <laughs> he is out of this world, he is an amazing composer, amazing, amazing, yeah. So amazing. what was the songwriting process like? Um, we took a whole month to write a song. It was fun, yeah. It was fun? It was fun, yeah. And why did you go for a more 60s vintage style? Um, because we wanted to change all the styles, like Federica went with a classic, Gaia went with a ballad. So now we wanted to go with funk, you know? All right, yeah. I see. And are you friends with Federica yeah, yeah. and Gaia? She'll, today she'll be here. And I'm so looking forward to oh, meet excellent. her. Excellent, I didn't know. Yeah, because me, Guy and Federica are best friends, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And you've also been in competitions with... Have you competed against them too, on stage? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, too. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. I'm glad friendship comes out of that. Yeah, but, um, but now, since Federica's classic and I am soul and gospel, we don't have the same Platforms. style. Yeah. Yeah. It's very different. But of course, you are all from Malta, which is one of the biggest yeah. supporters of this contest and yes. of course Eurovision Song Contest. And over the years, looking back at Eurovision, what have been some of your Maltese favourites? Um, I don't have any favourites, to be honest, because they were all amazing, they gave their all and uh, they were outstanding. But, <laughs> I love that click you do with your eye. But since last year, Amber represented Malta in the Eurovision Song Contest, yeah. Go, Amber. Go, Amber. <laughs> so you're a big fan of Amber? No, um, I'm a big fan, but we're close friends, yeah. Oh, that's good. I know you know she went to Tanzania to work with children as yes, well and yes. do some charity projects and yes. stuff. Do you have any causes that are close to your heart? Like? Uh, like charity. Like, so if you had to pick a charity, yeah, what would you um, pick? Animals, children, the elderly? Um, I would pick children. Why children? Because uh, I love children, yeah. How many children do you want to have? I know, it's a good question, isn't it? Bizarre, but... I don't know. <laughs> how many would you like to have? Seven, nine, twelve? No. Uh, uh, hold on, I'm still young to think about that. <laughs> Let's say the truth. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay, Destiny. Your stage, uh, your staging for Not My Soul, um, were you happy with the rehearsals? Yeah, yeah. I'm grateful. <laughs> yeah. 
And what is it like working from a green screen background in your music video? By the way, what a great music video. Thank you. To something a bit more real, like an LED, which you can um, actually see the images behind you. Of course, it's very different because in the video, I had only a green screen, so I had to sing my song. They can take away the rhythm. And I, have, I had oh, to... Oh, I'm enjoying that. Keep going, <laughs> keep going. And I had, I had to act the song out. Mm -hmm. But now it's reality so I can move to the background and, yeah. and years from now do you see yourself going into Eurovision itself yeah yeah it would be amazing I think to take part in the Eurovision yeah I'll try one day absolutely destiny it's been so much fun talking to you I know you're just about to have dinner so we're gonna let you go huh? is there a message you have for our fans or maybe a little melody um, uh, I would like to thank all my fans of Weaver Blogs because you are all amazing. Um, to teach me how to do that. Teach me. Teach me. You just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You got that right. Um, uh, so to finish this interview, I'm gonna sing the last piece of my song. No, 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 not my soul. 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 Mwah.